Hey guys, how are y'all doing? It is Grano. Yes, it is Grano. It's kitchen talk time. Time to come on up in here and have a little conversation. I'm not back in the kitchen yet, but yeah, it's time to sit down and just conversate just a little bit. I'm so glad to be spending time with you guys. I have really missed you guys, okay? All right, so let's just jump into this conversation. So, you know, we're going to talk a little bit about entertainment today and some of the stuff that's going on in social media and all that. Okay, but first of all, I want to say, and this happened a few weeks back, that, um, you know, we lost Sidney Poitier, uh, one of the most extraordinary actor that that has lived. You know, he was extraordinary actor. And, you know, he passed away back in January. Yeah, it was in January. And then after that, a couple of a week or two later, we lost uh, Andre Leon Talley. He was a fashion icon, fashion icon. So may both of them rest in peace. Um, but yeah, I wanted to go ahead and put that out there. But uh, yeah, let's see what's going on in this entertainment world. Well, you guys know that Wendy Williams, she's still out. Um, they still got special uh, hosts coming on the show every week. And I'm going to go ahead and tell y'all my favorites. My favorite is, of course, Sherry Shepard. I love to see Sherry on there. She does a really great job. And then Kim Whitley and Finesse. Oh, my God. They are hysterical on the show. They are so funny. You know, they... I thought Remy Maj and, and, and Fat Joe was funny. But 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 uh, Kim Whitley and, and Finesse, they're off the chain. They're off the chain. They make the show. They do a really good job. And I can sit and watch them host the show every day. I really can. Kim is a nut. Y'all hear me? That Kim is a nut. But she. I really enjoy watching them watch on the show. You know, because they had said back before Christmas that uh, Whitney would be coming back the first of the year. So uh, I guess she's still having some health issues and uh I pray that she, you know, recover from everything that she's got going on with her health-wise. But they got all kind of crazy stuff they're saying that's wrong, you know, what's going on with her health-wise. But then you also have to take with a grain of salt some of the stuff you read on social media that they're saying about her. They're talking about she done lost her memory. She can't dress herself. She can't walk. And, you know, they're really... I mean, social media done, done put the, done, done put Wendy on bed rest. I mean, they they just done put on bed rest. I don't know what's true and what's not true about Wendy. I do pray, you know, like I said, I pray that she, and her, along with her team and her doctors, get her help under control, you know, because when you're dealing with help issues, that's a whole different situation whole different situation so i hope that um you know she her health gets better and they're able to get whatever's going on with her health under control but uh yeah they just be bringing in different hosts and stuff like that of the show um mm, you know i don't know if wendy's gonna make it back uh if they're gonna ha have to make a final decision on who's gonna be but if it was up to me and i had anything to do with it they either need to uh, let Sherry Shepard do it, or they need to keep um, Kim Whitley and Finesse on there. That's what the, that those are been the best two for me. Okay. Uh, oh wow! I know y'all have seen this video going around on social media with Kyan West riding around in his car, talking about he trying to find uh, his daughter Chicago birthday party a few weeks back, and he riding around video uh, recording, talk about he. He done called a nanny. He done called Tristan. He done called Kim. Won't nobody answer his calls. He he can't find out where the party is. That's going to make good Chicago think that he didn't want to be at her birthday party. I mean, all this stuff. And I'm like, okay, mm, I kind of get it. He wants to be at her party. But just just give her a party of your own, Kaya. Just you know, just just plan a party yourself and give her give her a party. 
you know, you stay across the street from them. If you didn't see nothing going on over there in the house, and or or uh, Kim ain't answering her phone, and and hell, I don't even know why you call Tristan, cause you know he don't he don't know half the time where he at, what he got going on. You know, he too busy trying to keep keep Corey from finding out what he got going on. So you know, he Lord, I I don't know what to say about Kanye. I know he loves his kids. I know he wants to be a part of everything that's going on with them. But, you know, just plan your own party for your baby. Plan your own party. Have a party for her. Invite some of her friends. I don't care if they went to the one that Kim gave her. But, you know, do do you and her. You know, take her somewhere. You know, don't don't even be trying to run Kim them down. They They don't want you at the party, man. They don't want you at the party. So I don't know, but I was watching that video, him riding around and you could hear the GPS in the background telling him to turn left, turn right. I'm like, Kanye, yeah, you need to be concentrating on the road, man. But yeah, you know, that was all on social media, you know, everybody. And you know, some of this stuff on social media that these entertainers be putting out there, it's like, I'm, I'm like, why? Why do people even care? Why? It doesn't matter. Let, the, let the, these folks got a life just like everybody else. Leave them alone. Now, with that being said, you know, people been out there on social media on, on Nene Link's case. You know, they're all on Nene. You know, Nene out here dating. She got a boyfriend. She ain't even let Greg get cold in the grave and all this. Come on now. Come on. Come on now. Let's, let's be real about this. Everybody knew that Greg was having had cancer. He, had, he His health was going down. You know, we saw, saw it on The Housewife, the season that he found out and all that stuff. And that last year, you know, Nene would put stuff out there on social media about Greg's health and his health was going down. And, you know, they knew, Greg knew he was passing. And it was sad because Greg was a good person. And it even touched me when he passed away. But, you know, y'all got to leave Nene alone. I mean, she, she has to live her life. She's a young, a young woman. And her and Greg had talked about all this. And she did a video said that her and Greg had talked about it and he had wanted her to live her life and to be happy and to go on with her life, you know? And, you know, they saying that she was already talking to this to this guy before Greg died and so what? That's not y'all cross the, the bear. That's not y'all, don't leave her alone. You know, if she if she was talking to this guy before Greg passed away, it is what it is. Y'all don't worry about it. You know, if that's something she got to bear when it, you know, her judgment day or whatever the case is, let her worry about that. Let her worry about that. You know, Greg wanted her to be happy. Him and Nene had been together like 20 some years. They had a good life together and she knew he was dying and she had to deal with that, you know, in the public. You know, people want to always criticize people and talk about what they should be doing and shouldn't be doing. It leave her alone. It doesn't matter. That's her life, you know. Oh, Lordy, mm -mm -mm. they just be just doing too much. I mean, they say that Peter introduced Nene to this guy, you know, he's from Jamaica too, or whatever, which none of that matters anyway. You know, everybody knew that her and Peter <clears throat> stayed in contact with each other and was in contact now, even though he called she called him a bitch back in the day on the housewife, you know, once him and Cynthia split up, then it seemed like him and Nene became better friends. I don't know, but you know, that's that's the way it seemed, look on the outside looking in, you know what I mean? But yeah, you know, leave Nene alone. If Nene's dating and she's happy, she ain't asking nobody for nothing. She don't have to ask you for your approval. She doesn't need your approval. It's her life. Let her live her life. Let her enjoy herself. And I'm sure, you know, Greg is up there and he's probably okay. And he's happy that Nene is, is in a good space, you know. Oh, Lord. Like I said, some of this stuff out here on social media that they be talking about these entertainers, it's just crazy. It's just crazy. Get up out these folks' business. Get a life for your own. And let this woman live her life. Let Nene live her life and be happy. I'm happy for her, you know. She's a young woman. And she had already prepared herself and knew that Greg was going to pass away 
you know, and they had talked about all this stuff. And, you know, it is what it is. So let her be happy if she's got her van. And, and really, he looks a lot like Peter. <laughs> you know, he's not a bad looking man and he's got his own business. It doesn't seem like from the outside looking in that he's trying to uh, come in and, 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 and use Nene or, uh, you know, use her status or, or anything like that because he has his own, I think he has a suit business, a tailor. He's a tailor or he owns a company that makes suits and stuff like that. So, you know, he seems like he's financially set too and he's not trying to, um, you know, use her to get anything, you know, like some of the, the people or some of the, you know, housewife has had mates that was opportunities, just used him for an opportunity. Hey, you know, but you know, it is what it is. Cause even with that situation, you know, they have gotten into better situations. They are married now and doing their, doing good. But yeah, you know, it's just crazy how, you know, these, how we as outsiders get so involved in these entertainers life and want to throw our opinions out there all the time and, you know, say what they should be doing and shouldn't be doing. Ooh, it's a lot. It's so much. I'd be sitting up there looking at social media sometime and I'd be like, why do that even matter? Why does it matter? You know, why is people all upset because Nene is dating now? You know, why is people uh, all looking crazy at any of these entertainers, you know, any of them. We know, uh, uh, what's his name? I can't even say his name now. Wes, uh, kind of, we know he crazy. We know he crazy. That's, I mean, he's, he's shown that many times, but you have to give his credit. He's very talented but he just a little bit on the nutty side, you know? And of course he he's pleading to the, pleading to everybody out here in social media world, you know, to have pity on him because he, he wasn't able to go to Chicago's uh, birthday party. You know, uh, people out here wanna, wanna, wanna talk about Wendy. Leave Wendy alone, let Wendy recover, let her recover, let her doctors do what they need to do for her. You know, but we just be getting all up in these folks' business it's just crazy. And then right here in Huntsville, y'all, that love and marriage. I mean, I've been seeing some things on there with Martell. Martell, sit down somewhere. Go and sit down somewhere. You're going to go and do some pictures, some portraits. And this was back around Christmas time of all the all the kids. And you're going to basically do the same type of portrait that Melanie did with, with, with her, with y'all kids that y'all got together. But, you you know, you got your, you got your new baby on there. And, and, and it's just crazy. Sit down somewhere, man. Sit down somewhere. Get yourself together. Focus on your children and, and getting yourself back situated. You know, you're doing stuff out here too that's still trying to make Melanie look some kind of way. And man, Melanie, Melanie just flying. She just, she just got it going on. She's got so much positive stuff coming her way right now. A lot of positive things are happening for her. So you just need to get yourself together. You know, I'm excited to see what's going to happen when that new season come back on. If Melanie's going to come back, you know, how that's going to work out with love and marriage, you know. Portia, 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 Portia. Lord, have y'all been watching Portia's uh, 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 Housewives or Portia or Portia Life, Family Matters or whatever it's called? Have y'all been watching that? That's a bunch of craziness right there. That is crazy. I watched two episodes and I was done. It's just too much craziness going on with that. And it kind of make it Portia look some kind of way, man. If you and Simon are going to be together and that's what you want to do, then go on over there and do that and leave all that other craziness alone, man. It's just too much. Hey, it is what it is. You with Simon and, and you, you, you say all the stuff they were saying about how you got with him ain't true and this and that and whatever. But go on, so all that other craziness, leave it alone. It's a lot. I'm going to have to come back with y'all and have another, another conversation about the, some of these entertainers and stuff. I'm running out of time now, okay? I could talk about it forever. But I'm about to get up out of here before I go. Show Granda some love. Hit that subscribe button. Share my video. And if you're out and about, 
have a good day, but be, be safe, okay? Just be safe and have a good day. I'm going to check you guys out next time around. Thank you.